Welcome to another Ayehu iShare tutorial. Today, we'll learn how to free up disk space on drive C on a list of servers using Ayehu iShare. First, we'll create an Excel file that contains the list of servers we'd like our workflow to work with. You can add either server names or IP addresses. And important to note, this file is dynamic. You can edit it at any time, and when the script runs, as we'll see in a minute, it'll check this file each time. And of course, this server list can be stored as a text file, a database, Active Directory, or, like we're doing here, as an Excel file. We'll save the file as an Excel 2003-2007 workbook and start creating the workflow. The workflow begins by reading the Excel file we just created. So, of course, we have to tell it where to find it. Let's do that here. Now, in order to review the table dynamically, we're going to use the get rows count action, which will return the number of rows of data in the Excel file. This count will be used to tell the while action that we'll see in a minute how many servers to look for. Now, here's an important point. Each action returns a value, and that value is stored as a variable named in the colored bar right after the action name. Each action's output can then be used as the input for the next action. For example, to set up this while action, we'll use the rows count from the previous action and put it here under number of iterations. Next, we'll use the get cell value action in order to extract the server name dynamically. Let's go ahead and change the name of this to server name. It's easier to remember, and we'll use it from now on as our device name. Now at last, we're ready to check the available disk space on drive C of the selected server. We'll tell it we're looking for a percentage, like this, and here again is our server name variable. Now, we'll set up the condition using a cutoff of 10%, meaning that in case the free disk space runs below 10%, we'll want to make some more room. And here's how we'll do that. First, let's drag and drop the delete file action in order to delete all files in the temp directory. Let's give it the directory location and tell it to delete everything. And here again is the server that we're referring to. Next, we'll use the compression action to zip up log files from C slash logs into D colon slash archive slash logs. Pretty straightforward. Finally, we can delete the log files from C colon slash logs. Now that it's done, let's recheck the available space to make sure it was effective. We'll take that data and, for our last step, we'll send an email to the admin that provides the available space before and after the cleanup. You'll notice that here again, we can customize the message to say whatever we want, but we'll use those variables from within the workflow to provide the specific data that the admin wants to see. Now, like all workflows, we can schedule it to be executed on a regular basis. Go to the Schedule Workflow button here at the top and decide when and how often you'd like it to run. And as we mentioned in the beginning, in order to add additional machines to the procedure, just edit your Excel file. Nothing has to change here in the workflow. This concludes our demo showing you how to free up disk space. For further information, please visit our website at www.ayehu.com.